Kwame Asherala, all praises and glory goes to our power, Yahweh. By Shem Yahweh Shai, by Shem Kodash, double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone and salutations unto the legmen feeding the sheep of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai with this truth, man, with this great gospel, the knowledge and the edification coming out the Holy Scriptures. And um, this video is called The Replacement. The Replacements, man, because you got to realize in this society, man, you so-called Negroes been public enemy number one to the so-called white man, to the so-called white man, or the white man whose who's real biblical name is Edom. And not just you Negroes, you Hispanics, you Native Americans. And um, Esau's main thing is a divide and conquer spirit. Uh, infiltra inf inf infiltra infiltration spirit. Um, he likes to set up um, people in different organizations that's really at, there to do his agenda. His agenda. Because um, at one time, you got here all the way to the left, you got Jesse Jackson and you got Louis Farrakhan. Who did they replace? <laughs> Who did they replace? Who did Jesse Jackson and Louis Farrakhan replace? They replaced two men that were a so-called threat to the American way of life, to the so-called white American way of living. They, Jesse Jackson replaced Martin Luther King, somebody who's on the um, watch list. And then Farrakhan replaced who? Malcolm X, another man who was on the watch list. Both of these men were hated by so-called white people. But now, who did they replace? Their, their replacements are some of white people's favorite people to go to. You got pictures of Farrakhan with the so-called Jews. Farrakhan is the go-to guy for CNN. <laughs> Anytime these crackers want an opinion, they go to Farrakhan or they go to um, Jesse Jackson. So you got to realize, in this society, they love these people, man. Esau, this is Esau's replacements for people who are a so-called threat to him. Who's a so-called threat to him and who's a threat to him? Um, Martin Luther King, Malcolm X, because of what they were talking about. And at the end, what did Martin Luther King say? He said, I feel like I'm leading my people into a burning building, something to that. In other words, I'm sending my people clear the fuck off, telling them to be hand in hand with this devil, man, because that dream was not his dream. Them speeches was written for him. And the scripture talks about all that dreaming shit, that dreamer dream spirit. There ain't no spirit to follow, man. And um, if you're a threat to this man in this society, man, he's going to try to replace you. <laughs> he's going to try to, um, what's another, slander your name. Make you look evil, just like they do with the so-called black Hebrew Israelites. Defamation. <laughs> um, destroying the character. Make us look like we're terrorists. Same thing they did with... Malcolm X, Martin Luther King made them look like the bad guys in the face of the so-called white people. And all they wanted was, they wanted their rights. All they wanted was their rights and an equal opportunity to be free. To get the same opportunity the so-called white man had. That's all they wanted. That's all they wanted and they got killed for it. <laughs> they got killed for it, man. Let me read this right here. This is the book of, and um, we don't want no fucking equal opportunity, man. We don't, we don't want none of that. <laughs> We want you Edomites in shackles. We want you Edomites on the bottom. That's what we want, man. We want you heathens to go on the bottom because that's the future. The, the scripts, the scripture says it plain and clear. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. And he that killeth with a sword must be killed with the sword. And here's the patience and the faith of the saints. Yeah, yeah. Like the Germans would say, yeah. Isaiah 59 and 15. Yea, truth faileth, and he that departeth from evil maketh himself a prey. Yeah, we are a prey in this society, man. If you're saying anything against the establishment, against the elites, against their system, you will become a prey in this society because this man has a plan. This It's called the NWO, New World Order. When With everybody underneath his subjection. That's what they want. All that free thinking shit, no. All that accumulating a bunch of money and you controlling your money, no. This man want to have full control and authority over everything. He want to know when you wake up. He want to know how fast your heart is beating. He want to know if you got high blood pressure. He want to know how many motherfuckers is in your house. He want to know your financial situation. He want to know your educational situation. He want to know everything about you, man. He want to turn himself into a god. He want to control your whole existence. That's what he want to do. And now it's us speaking and warning our people about this system that's about to be set up and not to um, partake in this MOTB. We done made ourselves a prey.
I'm going to read, yea, truth faileth, and he that departeth from evil maketh himself a prey. And the Lord saw it, and it displeased him that there was no judgment. And, and we're displeased too, because um, we're waiting for the judgment of the heathen and the judgment of the Gentiles. And the judgment of who? The wicked, which is the Lord's sword. Romans 10 and 2, it says, For I bear them record that they had a zeal, that they have a zeal of the Most High, but not according to knowledge. That was the problem with... um. X and um, Malcolm got X and somebody knocked the crown off Martin Luther King's head. These niggas was too much into um, their so-called false religions. They actually believed in that bullshit, man, that, that Muslim bullshit, that Christianity bullshit. I call them the faiths of no value, man. You see how far Christianity got the so-called black community. Most of these kids getting killed, um, their parents are what? Christians. Their parents are hardcore Christians in these churches, man. Look at these Muslim dudes. What, they, what, what, is, what, what is the purpose of a so-called black Muslim, a nation of Islam? What nation is called Islam? Jake a joke. Jake a joke. Let's go to this right here. This is the book of Romans 10. And one, it says, Brethren, my heart's desire and prayer to the Most High for Israel is that they might be saved for I bear for I bear them record that they have a zeal of the most high but not according to knowledge for they being ignorant of the most high's righteousness Malcolm X Martin Luther King they were ignorant of the most high's righteousness and going about to establish their own righteousness wasn't Malcolm X trying to start his own religion so called branch of Islam shit right that doctrine, that doctrine Martin Luther King was teaching, that wasn't according to the scriptures. About to establish their own righteousness, have not submitted themselves unto the righteousness of Yahweh. For Mashiach is the end of the law of righteousness to everyone that believeth, man. And um, what if some does not believe? That's their problem. The word is still going to, the prophecies are still going to come to pass. Everything the Lord says is going to happen is still going to happen, man. It's the book of Zephaniah 11 and 5. It says, who possessors slay them and hold themselves not guilty, man. Yeah, because on um, these hits that, that was put out on X and King, we know who, who really set them up. We know who really set this up. It was the motherfucking E-Man. <laughs> the I do mean man. He's behind these so-called political hits and um, religious hits and um all these uprises, all these troubled some things going on in the world man the devil know he's behind it i'm read it says whose possessors slay them and hold themselves not guilty and they that sell them say blessed be yahweh for i am rich and their own shepherds pity them not man they're yeah, fair con and fucking um jesse jackass don't give a fuck about nobody man but them, their pockets their pockets man it's all about them Operation Push, Rainbow Coalition, all this madness going about to establish their own so-called righteousness for their community. But they ain't thinking about the Lord, Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, they ain't thinking about the judgments to come. <laughs> They're not thinking about tribulation. They're not talking about Jacob's fucking trouble, man. They're talking about, man, establish yourself in this place, man. I'm going to read it again. Whose possessors slay them. And hold themselves not guilty, yeah, because they done got a nigga to do it for them. That's the new way of Esau kills the possessor, slay them now. The possessor ain't got to do it. He'll get their own people to do it for him. It's the divide and conquer. It's, um, you give money to this man to get rid of that man. And as soon as this man start acting uh, against your agenda, you knock him off the shelf also. <laughs> That's what they do. That's how this man stay in power. Whose possessors slay them and hold themselves not guilty, and they that sell them say, Blessed be the Lord, for I am rich, and their own shepherds pity them not, man. Read the book of Romans. This is the book of Romans 16 and 17. It says, Now I beseech you, brethren, mark them which cause division and offenses contrary to the doctrine, the doctrine which ye have learned, and avoid them. Yeah, Jesse Jackass, uh, Louis Fair Convict, prison gospel teaching ass dudes. You got to avoid these dudes because they preach contrary to this doctrine, man. They speak not according to the words of the Bible, man. Mm. 
They ain't talking about no prophecy. They ain't talking about no repenting. Actually, they, they want you to, they, they really want to see you die, man. And they trying to bring you closer to Edom. They trying to bring you closer to Esau, Edom.